Hello, everybody. This is Gordon, and today we will be interviewing a renowned medical chemist, Dr. Abi. So, Dr. Abi, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, hey, Gordon. I'm a medical chemist based out of Baylor University. It's my pleasure to be here. Oh, that's great. Let's get started. Could you tell us a bit about what you do as a medical chemist? Of course. As a medical chemist, my primary focus is to design and synthesize new compounds that can be used throughout the medical world. These compounds have the potential to become new cures for treating stuff like diseases. That sounds very fascinating. What kinds of projects have you been working on recently? Yeah, so I mentioned how I was working with diseases. So I was a lead engineer for COVID-19 with Moderna. Oh, that's amazing. I'm guessing you were able to save many lives. Is this the aspect you love most about your career? Uh, yeah, I would say so. It's the opportunity to make a huge impact on other people's health. Every day I come to work knowing that what I'm doing could help save someone else's life and change millions of lives for the better. That's great. This means you've probably faced a lot of challenges throughout your career, right? How do you deal with these? Um, it's kind of a trial and error situation. So for example, one of our biggest challenges is that we want our medicine to be effective against the target, but we also want to minimize the side effects that it could have. So for example, we don't want it to target other proteins in the body other than the necessary ones. Moreover, we're also in high risk of exposure to dangerous chemicals, acids, and compressed gases. All of these are very hazardous. Well, speaking of this, like high risk to exposure to hazardous things, have you ever had to deal with poor working conditions? Um, I wouldn't say so. It's just that the overall environment is dangerous when we're dealing with unknown or dangerous substances. However, our employers and us are very stringent on safety and it's our number one priority. Yeah, safety is very important. So what advice would you give to students who really want to become medical chemists? Honestly, I think the most important thing is to have a strong foundation as you're required to have a bachelor's or higher in stuff like pharmaceutical or organic chemistry. By acquiring a solid foundation in uh, chemistry, biology, and maths through classes like organic chemistry, biochemistry, and calculus, you'll be having early exposure to critical thinking skills before you even become a medicinal chemist. It's very important to develop these necessary knowledge and skills. That seems like a lot to do with. So would you recommend for young connoisseurs to go into this field? Mm, yeah, I would say so. Though it has a lot of effort, it, I'm going to be blunt and say that it pays well. Your starting range is much higher than other careers. You start with like 90 to 140,000, but this depends on your level of expertise, where you could have gone to college. But you also have like the opportunity to make a huge discovery. Like our team was able to create a suitable vaccine for COVID and we profited heavily off of this. And like the working conditions are great. I've had very few complaints through my 20 years of experience. That sounds amazing. Well, unfortunately, this is all the time we have today. So Dr. Arabi, thank you so much for coming out and seeing us and I'm grateful to talk to you in the future. Yeah, well, thank you. It's my pleasure to get more uh, people into our field as this is a very important field going forward. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. Thanks. Bye. Why is the recording not stopping?